Hello and welcome, Sagittarius. I am your host, Lord Scorpio. Thank you for joining me this evening. Let's go ahead and get into the spread. I'm going to go ahead and select the cards. Well, this one wanted to come out, so I'm going to go ahead and take this one as well. Okay. Okay, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on. Okay. 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 So... Sagittarius, um, childhood memories are on your mind, as well as um, children that you have. Um, I believe they, they are living outside of the home at this present time. And... Um, if you don't have any children, um, there's a great deal of small talk, meditation, internal thinking of children. And I believe it is a female energy that is thinking of uh, the children at, these, at this time, or perhaps it is a female energy that is um, thinking of the past, how things used to be, okay? Or possibly maybe there are some concerns uh, regarding the, the children and you might need to check on them uh, to ensure that every, everything is fine. Uh, there is some major um, uh, manifestations um, under undergoing right now regarding your family and um, again in order to ensure that the children are okay and that all energies are well it is most apparent that you check on your children or your child to make sure they are okay uh, to make sure, you know, if, if it's a single parent mother that has the child, make sure the mother is treating the child properly, uh, you know, all, making sure all of the child's needs are met. And um, if there has been a great deal of manipulation with sharing a child, uh, these issues will be coming up, okay? And... Um, if not, if all is well, then uh, you will be feeling very confident moving into the, um, this is a nine of cups. So you'll be feeling very confident moving into the future, knowing that your children are well taken care of if there are no manipulative energies at play. So that means, um, you know, all is well and um you know that your children's needs are being met so if maybe uh, a, a Sagittarius parents had been really wanting a break away from the children um the other parent will be showing up to relieve you Sagittarius or vice versa uh, maybe there is a child that is coming to live with you for the summer and you could be very well quite pleased with that um, you know a, a, the summer is a great time to you know um, you know discover new places and do new things so the nine of uh, swords Sagittarius is in play so something is keeping you up at night in regards to uh, feeling well-rounded um, again, possibly you have not been able to see your child in quite some time, or maybe your childhood memories are coming back to haunt you. 
okay and um you know you you, you want to you you feel fulfilled but when you think about your childhood you think about you know how you don't want the past to repeat itself in your current um life situation with your with your family and um you're going to do your best not to reincarnate those energies um this is the princess of cups so there could be some surrounding energies around a young woman that could be um up at night worrying about a child that could be okay or maybe you are worried about a child uh, you know in someone else's care or custody let's further look into this Sagittarius please tell me more about Sagittarius um, worries I'm going to draw a few cards give me a moment Okay, so Sagittarius, it appears that there, there are a great deal of stressors on your, on your mind. And at the same time, there could be unforeseen opportunities that you are not aware of, okay? So you might have a great deal of issues going on and you might not know how to solve those problems all at once, but... Uh, rest assured, for every problem, there is a solution. And um, here is the lover's card. So someone could be um, looking for a lost love, a lost child, or, um, you know, wondering, lots of wondering. And, um, you know, um, I feel like... Um, if someone was not involved in their child's life, they're going to look at how to make things right in the present and in the future. So if this is you, Sagittarius, with a child that you have not been actively involved with, uh, the universe is telling you the universe is telling you that it is time to take the initiative to become involved. There is an array of things that you can start to do to manifest uh, great energies uh, in order to restore the absence at play and um, you know there's a great deal of love you know on the on the table so um, there's a million, million and one ways to love a person so it's never too late Sagittarius to um, initiate love uh, if there is a lost love with someone from your past that you want to be with and you're maybe thinking about how to go about your first date, you know, um, you know, what is this person like? What, where, where should we go? You know, questions like that, um, you know, and, and again, it could be someone from your childhood or high school memories that you're thinking about starting, uh, uh, starting a relationship or start or start to date. Um, Prince of Wands. So you definitely are, um, you, you're definitely marching ahead, racing ahead to uh, become creative and active. Um, so it is quite possible that um, that there is a message um, of a delivery. There's a message about love. Um, so possibly someone uh, is feeling mutually um, you know mute, perhaps the feelings are mutual with you and this person um, that you used to know uh, that could be coming back into your life so the king of cups so you're over you're overwhelmed with love okay and again you you could be look if you don't have any children you might be looking to have children with someone a suitable mate um, someone from your past and 
you envision yourself being a father figure and you're and you might be afraid that you might be rejected um, by this person so you want to make sure you please this person at all at all costs so uh, i advise you to take your time sagittarius don't overburden yourself with worries before you can even start and um here's the next card we have the queen of swords so you're dealing with a powerful woman uh, that is uh, manifesting uh, great things behind the scene, but behind the scene, she doesn't play, she doesn't take any games, so you might try to offer this woman love, and it may not work the first time, but, you know, uh, dust yourself off and try again. This woman uh, has been through a lot, she's seen a lot, so she's pretty wise and intelligent, so... Your approach is not gonna, it's, it's, it can't be the ordinary and uh, you've got to, if you don't already, you're going to have to step your game up and um, just know that um, you have competition and at times she may come off to be, you know, a little cold or um, a little distant, but um, this woman reflects a lot in her head and she is in tuned with her surroundings. So if you come, please come correct because she's going to know if you're lying or if you're telling the truth. And, um, you know, if you want to date this woman, just be genuine and let her know your intentions um, because it could end very quickly before it even starts. Okay, and if you have someone that you're, tr if you're trying to get over a recent relationship that went bad and you're looking to uh, start dating again uh, and you've always wanted to date this particular person, just take it easy uh, one day at a time. You know, drop the subtle hints and the clues, the messages. If you're on Facebook, send a message. If you know where she lives, send her in a, you know, an enclosed, you know, letter, an envelope. Um, if you work with her, um, leave her a note on her desk. You know, you have to begin to woo this person because if not, they'll just look at you like you're just another one of them. You have to um, make yourself stand out in a crowd. Um, this woman is usually not impressed with the usual, so, you know, you just might have to do something, you know, very creative in order to spark her fancy. And, um, this may be a very good match, uh, Sagittarius. Both of you guys' energies match very well, and that's what makes you happy. That's what makes you feel content, but you might you know, be a little nervous that she may not receive you, you know, um, for whatever reason, but, um, just, you know, know that there are other options for you in the, in the department of love. And if, if she does not receive you the first time, continue to be her friend and she'll slowly open up over time. Um, she will recognize your big heart, Sagittarius, and see that you're pretty genuine about what you what you say. So just slow down, you know, don't take her quickly and um and I'm sure everything will go well. Let's see what the future entails. So very interesting. This is a Scorpio woman, okay? So this woman is pretty wise and yes, yeah, she does take her time. So um yeah, you are um <laughs> This is very interesting. And again, yes, yeah, she's the queen of cups, okay? She 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 knows how to push love buttons and she's very familiar with um she's in tune with herself and the spiritual nature. So there's no wonder why um you may be attracted to her. Um she is uh, one hell of a woman. So if you have your eyes on a Scorpio, just know that they are very strong. Um, they're not negative. They're just straight to the point. So when you deal with her, just come correct, okay? And don't rush her. Um, again, this is the Seven of Pentacles. 
So um, just observe, watch and observe. Maybe that's what she's asking you before you approach her. If you wanna know what the right approach is, take your time and observe so that you'll know how to deal with her. And so she'll know how to deal with you because just jumping into things is just not her thing, okay? Um, and if you are thinking about making some type of some type of offer sometime soon just um throw it out there and see what she feels about it and let her be the judge let her decide because no one likes being rejected and um it's good not to rush people but to you know throw throw something out there and see what happens and if nothing happens then you know what where where it goes but um Sagittarius, you're definitely looking for uh, a suitable mate, uh, someone to manifest your energies with. You feel that you have a great deal of energy, you, energies you want to unleash. So this could also also be a sensual. You looking. You could also be looking for a sensual partner. So just know that um, know what kind of partner you're interested in and who you're going for. Um, because some people could be looking for something completely different than you. Some some someone could be looking for, you know, long term partnerships and you could just be looking for a fling. So just keep your intentions open and uh you know, straightforward so people know where you're trying to go with this, okay? I wish you the best, Sagittarius, and good luck.